If you're looking for the top of the top, I think it's up there somewhere. What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming at you. Got a brand new product from our friends over at Bee Topper, uh, just in time for Halloween. Uh, these are the LM120, also known as the Demon Eye 4-in-1 120 watt. Uh, spot wash, strobe, moving head, color ring. One of each, please. I don't know, but I'm gonna talk to you about that. What's up guys, DJ Mike James coming at you. Uh, like I said, we got a brand new product from our friends over at Bee Topper. When you wanna be the top of the top, I think it's up there somewhere. Anyway, uh, we're gonna get into it here. Uh, like I said, these are the LM120. Seen a few people doing these uh, videos already. I'm going to uh, get into it. Uh, I already got this one cut open, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it here with you. Um, they did send me two of them. Inside of it, you do get your manual. You might need that. What's a manual? You get a PowerCon. You get a DMX. Oh, but you look, look at that. Up. Looks like. Wait up a minute, they actually upgraded their DMX cables? That is a great, a great little thing right there. Back real right, right, right. There. You got a, a legit DMX and not those little plastic ones. Anyways, happy about that. Let's see if we're happy about this light. We're gonna pull it out. Let me go ahead and whip it out for you. As we get into it, oh, she's just a little guy. All right. Looks like we got a uh, bolt-on mounting clamp or a snap-on mounting clamp for it there. But we will get into this and take a look at it. Um, as you see, they did send me two of these. Uh, they are running special Halloween promotions right now and you spend so much, you save so much. Um, as B Topper always does, there are definitely uh, deals to be had. So if you're interested in a light like this, their Halloween sale is going on right now. Right. I will be using these at my Halloween event coming up here uh, next Friday. So uh, I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna do that exactly and implement them into my system. If you've been watching my videos, I've been doing some lighting upgrades of my own but um first thing we want to talk about is the demon eye you look like a snake i'm a snake it's not what you're thinking <laughs> so they do have this really interesting lens pattern which i like it i think it's really cool this is a super compact light it is uh extremely lightweight the build quality on it is you know, it's decent, it's pretty typical, it's from, you know, what we'd expect from a light in this price point. Um, I think the one thing, you know, that I would have liked to have seen, you know, since they're calling this the demon eye, that if it would have kind of had like the eye, like molded into it with a slit, like a, you know what I mean, with this texture, that would have been super cool as a demon eye, so it would actually look like that, and they could have done it in the middle with a slit, so it actually, no matter which way it went, it would have had that look. But for what it is, this thing does look cool. Uh, let's get it plugged in here and see what she's gonna do. Like I said, I do have two of them, so uh, I'll get into that here in a minute. So I got power on here. And she's uh, kind of kicking around. While we're doing that, I'll go ahead and get this other one out and see what I can get them to do together. Uh, again, there will be a gig with me using these um, at the school coming up. As the, one of the main reasons I wanted to get those, and in fact, my, uh, my B-topper lighting career, I guess, sort of started at the school when they sent me the, uh, the two-in-one uh, spider light that we used over there, and that was a pretty awesome light. So, as I get this other one in here, I'm assuming that light's not doing anything. I don't think so. All right, guys, so we're continuing the uh, product review on the Demon Eye. It does have a pretty bright wash on it. Um, there is a really cool, you know, this lens effect with the color ring, and then of course you can manipulate those lights individually. Uh, as we get into the auto show, I push enter, of course, we've got one to 255 in our auto show, or zero to 255, and that's the actual self-propelled mode. So if I went up to zero, 
and set that. And then we're actually in the zero auto show. And this goes up to 255 with a different style of auto show kind of running through it, which it does have sound active being zero to 99, voice control mode and sensitivity. There are DMX modes in this as well. Um, there is a really cool like color ring effect. I can try to, I can try to show you guys when this thing turns back around. But um, you know, you've got your manual controls, which means we can set uh, the manual, uh, you know, red linear dimming, green linear dimming, blue, white, horizontal motion, um, pan and tilt, tilt motion. You got zero to 540 on the uh, pan and then we've got uh, zero to 240 on the tilt. Um, issue with that is if we do go into that mode and get that set, it's really hard to come out of it. I have to like unplug the light and plug it back in or also just stays in this manual control mode. And of course we've got a temperature control or a display which is in Celsius of course. You have the display mode which you can keep it on or uh, the LED display being always on or to have it shut off. Um, uh, a reset and then a dimming curve being line and square being uh, how that actually I kind of want to see what that is so let's go in a curve and we'll push enter right now it's in line and if we do that into square I just want to kind of see what the difference is as far as the coloring on this of course these do have DMX in and out so you can use a DMX controller on them that is a little a bright little mover for what it is it is super compact really interesting lens on it um, we will be using these like I said at my Halloween party coming up of course I will be using my Halloween scrim um, I may just set these up to kind of face the crowd I'll be running a different lighting setup over there as well with my uh, with my new big movers that I'll have up on totems and then of course up lights the foreign ones fog machines things along those lines just so we can give those kids a really good time but uh, the LM120 super compact little wash light it is pretty bright for what it is 120 watts love the interesting lens pattern in this again if they would have made this an actual demon eye that would have looked absolutely sick but um Really cool little fixture. Um, again, from our friends over at B Topper, just in time for Halloween to bring in the uh, the Demon Eye LM120. Uh, super smart on their part because they are having their Halloween sale. Like I said, uh, B Topper is always coming out with innovative things, and they pride themselves on uh, producing quality quality products. Um, again, I'm kind of watching this auto show. I just going to see if it goes out front. Uh, because honestly, I mean, we want these lights to hit the crowd. And I, I don't know if I can express that enough to, to, to be topper in these companies that uh, when we run an auto show, I, I don't necessarily need this light facing behind me. We know this is the front of the fixture and we need it to be out there. We want the crowd to see it. We want it to be panning the crowd, scanning the crowd. That's, that's what we want these fixtures to do. And if this light, uh, you know, we can there now there is a setting in here where you can set this light to, to make it go in one direction have it do what it does you'll be able to set the lighting and the per parameters in that to have it out there of course if you've got these on dmx controller it's a non-issue you just you know program a show to make them do it but uh, for some of us that are doing you know uh, you know a show that's a little you know that's not necessarily a big buck show or, or whatever and we want to have the you know the lighting effect and don't want to put the effort into programming DMX shows or sound switch and all that stuff just to go out for you know a couple hundred two three dollars three two three hundred dollars to go out and have to do all of that just to make this light do what we want it to do on the fly so it would be nice if if it actually did that on its own as opposed to uh, as opposed to staying up or, or behind us so just uh, you know, just a side note from my own personal preferences on how I like my lights to perform, and also another big reason why I upgraded my 
my big movers. So the LM120 Demon Eye, uh, you will see these in action again. Uh, plus some other fixtures that we're going to run at that time. Uh, I won't be running up lighting, but I will be running fog. But I can't wait to use these, see what they'll do out in a big venue, because this is a big venue. It's a huge gymnasium, and we will be on the stage. What's up guys? So you're seeing the uh, B-Topper LM120 Demon Eye. I've got them on the uh, fly points of my speakers up there next to my sheds, one watt lasers. Um, you know, it gets into the issue of running the auto shows on these lights where, I mean, you do see it kind of come to the front a little bit, but it stays pretty much up or behind me. Um, again, super bright little uh, mover. The uh, lens pattern on it is super cool but uh you know again without using dmx controller i guess uh i just get what i expect so stay tuned thanks for watching you know so on and so forth doing what we do but uh like I said, if you haven't uh, subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do so. We will get some shoot around on these while they run through the auto show. Uh, so you can kind of get a good look at what the lenses do since they never face the camera, even though this is the front. Well, there they go. They, they do it ironically, I guess. But then um, you'll get a better, uh, a better idea of what these lights do uh, when we get them out in the gym, get them up on a stage and, uh, and see exactly what we're going to get out of these. But... Uh, Stay tuned.